Hello everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Will, and today we've got some really interesting news. First off, I'd like to thank the Brick Fan for bringing this up. As far as I can tell, they're the first people to have brought this up, so I want to give all the credit and thanks to them. But we may actually have a way to tell what minifigures are in what box for the new LEGO Marvel Studios collectible minifigure series. Two. Set number 71039, it will be retailing a piece for $4.99 in the US. Now sadly, this is the first official minifigure series to come in packaged boxes. No longer will we be able to feel for our minifigures the same ever again. Now there's always a chance it could end up going back one day, and I await that day if it comes. But until then, this unique way of figuring out what minifigure just might be inside what box might just be the solution for us all who are really hoping to be able to figure out what minifigures we really want and not get duplicates now it is important to note that this theory has not been proven we will have to wait until the release of these minifigures to know whether or not this will work so be sure to hit that like button Subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell because I will be buying a couple six packs of these figures and we will test out this theory. I'll release a video of me opening them and checking out whether or not this theory is accurate or not. And I'd also like to remind everyone that we are trying to reach our first 1,000 subscribers before the year is out. We are currently, at time of recording, sitting at 440. We are getting so close to 500 and we are running out of time to even reach 500 before the end of the year but hey a goal's a goal so if you can consider pressing that subscribe button i'd really appreciate it now we're going to use the akifa harkness figure here as our example to start with so at the bottom of each box will look like this and of course we have the upc which is what most stores use to scan out the item when you pay for your order and then over here in this little white box here we have a little code here now it's important to note these people got a whole box of minifigures for free to review before the new minifigures were released and they took note of something very interesting so this code right here each code on the box is different but almost exactly the same in the sense so the Akaka harkness figure has the code 729s3 and then all the Akaka harkness figures have the number below it between 7000 and 8000 so how does this help us well so you pull up this page is a good example. You go into your store, you find the boxes of minifigures. You start looking on the bottom. Now, if, let's say you're looking for Agatha Harkness, or you immediately find the top number here, and then you look at the bottom number and see if it's in between 7,000 and 8,000. Now, the same is going to apply for every other minifigure in this series. It will have a main code, which is the bigger number in this little box. And then it will have a smaller code within a certain amount. In this case, 7,000 to 8,000. So if it has a number in between 7,000 and 8,000, it's more likely to be an Agatha Harkness figure. Now, there are many ways this could just simply not be the case. The main thing being, this could just be the number for this particular figure, and down the road, as LEGO keeps producing more, this number will just continue to change. But there's also a chance that these numbers will actually help us figure out what minifigure is in the box. Moving on to, like, Moon Knight, it has the code 30S3. Now, a whole bunch of these, here we go, Werewolf by Night, 330S3, just like this one, 330S3. Now, many of them have different codes, but a bunch of them have some copies. Hawkeye is also 330S3, Kate Bishop's different, Goliath's different, Echo's different. Notice how most of them are pretty different. Wolverine, 330S3. But the difference is Wolverine's numbers is in the 1100s, while if we went back up towards... Hawkeye, it's at 1500 to 1600 instead of 1100. We're looking at She Hulk, 13 OS3, a completely different code, but its numbers are 700 to 800. Now, there's a pretty good chance most of these will change, but the fact that most of these minifigures have different larger codes as well as different smaller codes, you can at least get a better idea of what minifigures could be in there if you find one with the number 330s3 you'll know maybe it's werewolf by night or maybe it's moon knight or maybe it's wolverine 
Or if you find one with the same number as Kate Bishop, it might be Kate Bishop or that other figure. Or maybe it's the only minifigure with that number. That increases your chances of it being Kate Bishop. I hope I'm making some sense to you all. It took me a moment to sit down and actually look at this to figure it out myself. But we're just going to recap real quick before ending this video. So to start, pull up a page like this. You check the bigger number first, and then you can check which minifigures have that larger number, and then check to see what the smaller number is and whether or not it's in within this range. Now, I personally think this the bottom number is definitely going to continue changing. There's a chance it won't, but I think the larger number will always stay the same, increasing your chances of figuring out what particular figure it is, and we are going to test these figures in a future video. But nonetheless, it's very exciting for everyone who's very upset that they're not going to be doing bags. This might just give us a way to pick and choose the figures we want, or even not get duplicates. The first series sold like hotcakes, and I have a feeling the second one will too, and I have a feeling that's the exact reason why they chose to start the blind boxes with this series, because they know how popular it would be. It's just a way of them to try to get the LEGO community to accept it. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But nonetheless, everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. A possible way of figuring out what many figures are in what box. I know I don't want to get so many different Wolverines and so many different Kate Bishops. I want to be able to get the 12 minifigures I want for sure, as well as whenever others I might want extras of for minifigure parts. And I'm sure a lot of people are the same way. Do you think this method of figuring out what minifigures are inside the boxes is going to be correct? Or do you think that it's a wild goose chase that us fans are holding on to just so we can still figure out which minifigures we have in the boxes? But anyway, guys, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Please consider leaving a like, hitting that notification bell, and subscribing to the channel. We are trying to reach our first 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Plus, I am going to do a video testing out this theory. Who knows, maybe other reviewers and YouTubers and LEGO news sites might also test out this theory, so you can check between multiple different people to see whether or not this theory is accurate or not. But I can guarantee I will have a video out when the minifigures are released testing this theory out. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for that. But all right, everyone, that's going to wrap up for this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.